Welcome to part one of this three-part series on Microsoft Office Outlook Calendar. Let me share a few tips and tricks with you. Now we all know how difficult it is to find a time slot for a meeting that suits six different people. Now it's slightly easier in Outlook, especially if you are in an organization and you can view your colleagues' calendars. So here open in front of me, I started a meeting maker. I've already entered the names of my colleagues who need to attend this specific meeting. And then you can go to scheduling assistant. And here you can see the proposed date that I've given. You can see the availability of your colleagues on this day. So here you can see this colleague has got a tentative meeting that morning. Um, this colleague has got a is busy during these times. And there's a time slot that seems to be open between 1 and 1.30. And it's open in all these people's calendars. This colleague of mine has not shared her information. She's changed the settings. She prefers not to, to share information with others. So here you just need to confirm with her personally. And um, the fact that you are seeing the exact uh, entries of, in my calendar, it's just because it's my own calendar. But do go and view your settings to ensure that you know how much information you are sharing with your colleagues and the world out there. So here you can easily allocate a meeting slot. You can see it's allocated here. You can go back to your meeting and here you can just complete the meeting maker and click send. Now to go and have a look at the permissions or your own sharing settings to make sure that you know what information you are sharing with the world out there when it comes to your calendar, go to File, Options, Calendar, and here you go down, change the permission for viewing free busy information. And here you can see that from my organization can see when I'm busy but they can't see the titles and locations of my meetings. Um, they can't view all details and they can't edit. You can also add a specific person here, maybe an administrator who can have more information or more insight into your calendar by changing these options. Now, another way to share your calendar with someone and to allow that person to quickly find a time slot that suits both of you is to insert your calendar into an email. Now open in front of me is a new email and go to the insert button or tab and click on calendar. And here you go and you'll be able to choose which day. Let's say I want specifically the 12th of August. You can even choose a date range show time within my working hours only let's do that and there's a few advanced options as well and here you go and then somebody can easily see oh i'm free between the, these times and these times and they can schedule a meeting this way another very nice way to turn for example this email into a meeting is to just drag it onto the calendar icon and here you go you can schedule your meeting this way now you can also do it the other way around if you go to your calendar and let's say you want to turn this calendar item into an email you drag it onto your email icon and there you go you can email somebody in the information that was in the initial calendar item Now, another way to create a meeting maker from an email is to use the quick steps function. Now, here you can see I have the email which I've clicked on and I've set up a quick step here that says schedule. Now, when I click this one button, it will create a meeting for me and it will move this email into a folder which I called schedule and you can move it into any folder and you can even not move it into a folder. So go to the quick steps section, click on the little arrow and go to new. 
and you can click create a custom new quick step and you can maybe call it call it create meeting and you choose your action so here to create a an appointment you go to create an appointment with text message and maybe you want to afterwards move it to a folder or maybe you don't want to move it to a folder but you can move it to a folder let's do that and we just click finish now there you've created your quick step now when i click on this as soon as i click on create meeting it's going to create a meeting maker for me with a text here at the bottom and you can just modify things as you please and as soon as i'm going to click save and close it's going to move that email into a folder called scheduled now you don't have to move it into a folder but creating meetings this way is nice and quick and easy now in today's day and age you may want to add a, a teams meeting maker or an online meeting to each of your meetings so every time you schedule a new meeting with others that it automatically creates a teams meeting now to do that go to file options calendar and click this add online meeting to all meetings and every time you create a new meeting it will immediately be a teams meeting Now we all know that things can really go wrong when we work with different time zones. So to avoid that things really go wrong and to avoid a huge mess, you can insert another time zone, a second or even a third time zone into your Outlook calendar. It just makes it easy to schedule meetings between different time zones. So you right click on this bar and you click on change time zone. And here you can see I've got my initial time zone my primary time zone and here i can add a second time zone and you can choose what you call it and you can add the time zone here you can even add a third time zone and this really makes scheduling meetings between different time zones much easier now i hope these tips and tricks will really help you to be more productive when using microsoft office outlook and be on the lookout for part two and part three of this three-part series. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.